Hi students, welcome back. And today we're going to do question 11. Question 11 is about uh, the graph. And this comes from 12 November 2019's question paper. So I'm going to do question 11. The first thing that they're asking us to is retrieve the spreadsheet called ISP survey. And this is the one that I have uh, retrieved. It's about the internet service providers of the country and also um, according to the value for money, network quality support and billing and averages. Now, if you go back to our question paper, we will notice that they're asking for the following questions. Create a mixed combo chart to display the value for money, network quality, support and billing, and average of Afrios, Access, Crystal Web, Vox, and Web Africa. All right, let's look at that again. Afrios, Access, Crystal Web, Vox, Web Africa. It must be a mixed combo chart of the five ISPs. All right, and the headings must be value for money, network quality, sorry, network quality, support and billing, and average. All right, let's see. Here's my headings. So I'm gonna select my heading. I'm going to press the control key of my keyboard. I'm gonna hold it in while I select Afrihost and corresponding information, access and corresponding information, crystal web, and corresponding information, Vox, and Web Africa. All right, so those are, the, those are the criteria for my chart. Once all of them are selected, I'm going to click on Insert. And under Insert, I'm gonna click on Recommended Chart. I can obviously follow these steps here, but the easiest way, I can even go into the Chart Launcher group launcher but the easiest way for me is to click on recommended chart and once I have this dialog box I'm going to click on all charts so that I can go to combo here at the bottom all right now before we do anything else let's quickly go back to our question paper now that we have the chart almost selected, it's asking us for the following. Display the average display the average as a line chart. Okay. Value for money, network quality, support and billing important billing data as a clustered column chart. So let's just be clear. Average must be displayed as a line chart. However, everything else must be displayed as a clustered column chart. Okay, so going back here, we need to first check Value for money must be clustered column. Network quality must be clustered column. Support and billing must be a clustered column. So we have to change it to clustered column. And only average must be left a line chart. And here's an example of what that would look like. Also, ensure that the horizontal axis displays the ISP name and the vertical axis displays the rating. So if we go back to our chart, the horizontal axis is displaying the, the names of the ISPs and the vertical axis is displaying the amount. All right, so once we have that information, we can click on OK. And there is our chart. But we're not done yet. Because the next question says, use a spreadsheet instruction to move the chart to a new sheet. 
use a spreadsheet instruction to move the chart to a new sheet. And that's very, very simple. All you do is you just make sure that you select your chart. And while you're in the chart design tab, you can click on move chart. And then you just move your chart to a new sheet. Even if you want, you can even give your chart a new name. Um, I can call it question 11. Once you've done that, click OK. And the chart will be moved to its own sheet. And this is all that I need at this stage. The next question wants us to do the following. Insert your examination number, computer number, and question number is indicated in the instruction. What that usually just refers to is that on your left-hand side of your header, you have to insert your ID number, which is, your, which is your, your exam number, which is your ID number. And on the right-hand side of your header, you have to type in the question number. Now, let's see. For that, I need to go to um, I need to go to insert. Insert will allow me to insert a header. If I don't see insert in my menu, I mean, if I don't see header and footer in my menu, all that I need to do is, if you don't see your, your header and footer visible here in your, in your menu, then the best way is to go to File, and you click on Print, and you select Page Setup. Under Page Setup, you can go Find Header and Footer. Click on Custom Header. On the left-hand side, you type your ID number, whatever that is. On the right hand side, you type the question number. And in the middle, you can also type in your seat number, um, whatever that is. Okay, so once you've done that, you just click OK. And you click OK. And your header will then appear on the page. And then you can go back to your spreadsheet. It will seem as if it is gone. It is not. It's just because you can't see it. But if you go to File, print and you look at the preview you will see that it is there all right so that brings us to the next question which is we have to go and insert a chart title to our chart now the title must go over two rows and in the first row it's you must type in the words top five ADSL and fiber ISPs in South Africa. And in the second row, you need to type survey by my broadband. All right. But the first the first line must also be typed in agency if if the um, size 18. So the font of the first heading must be typed in agency if the size 18. And the font of the second heading must be typed in Century Gothic size 10. So let's just quickly do that. So first, top five ADSL and fiber ISPs in South Africa. There, my, my chart title is already given for me. So I can just click on it and I'm going to type in there the correct chart title in capital letters top five. ADSL and fiber ISPs. ADSL and fiber ISPs in South Africa, survey by my broadband. If you want to go over to the second line, you press enter. And then you type in the normal case, survey by my broad back. All right. Now remember the font. You select the line, the first line. You change the font to 
agency FB size 18, and this must be bold. And the second line you select and you change the font to, and just double check what was that instruction, or the font be Century Gothic size 10. You don't want to find look into the list you can just type in in there century jury gothic there it is you press enter size yeah. all right so there's my my heading done next question insert the following excess title so the vertical title must be rating and it says vertically rotated must be rating and horizontal title must be SA internet service provider so that one is easy in other words the vertical must have a title and the horizontal must have a title and let's see so you're going to click on while well, you activate your, your chart and what you do here, you go click on this little plus and you select excess title. You click, you click on the text box and you will notice that your text boxes appear. And that's all that you need. In the horizontal field, you type in this um, ISP or Internet Service Providers. And over here, Type in the title. What was the title again? Rating. All right. Next question. We've done this one. So 11.8 display the data labels as follows display the labels for the value for money series and data call out above the chart display only the value show the labels for the line chart below the line all right so this one we need to go and insert data labels to our chart and they said that for the if you look at our our um our legend value for money is blue so if you click on the blue bar all the blue bars are selected okay so we're going to add data labels to the blue bar if I click on the blue bar again, only the first one will be selected. But you don't want only the first one, you want all of them selected. So if you click on the blue bar, double click somewhere else, and you click on the blue bar again, then all of them will be selected. Okay, once all of them are selected, again, you go into this plus sign over here, and you click on data labels, you select the box, and you will notice that the data labels become visible. But that's not all. We Remember, we need to change them to call out. So what you're going to do, you're going to click on the arrow and you're going to select data call out. It becomes call out. All right. But the problem now is the name and the value is displayed. And remember, the instruction said only the value must be displayed. So the data labels for value for money, data call out above the chart display only the values now how do i display only the values well you go to go back to the chart elements and you go to data labels you click on the arrow and this time around you go straight through to more options and in more options you will see you have the category name and the value that's ticked you don't want the name you only want the value so you untick the category name and it calls this up here once you're done with that you can just exit that little pane that just appears there all right so now show the labels for the line chart just below the line all right so the line chart might also get data labels so you're going to click on your line you're going to go into your plus you're going to select data labels tick the box but this time around, you don't want them above 
or on the line, you want the data labels to appear below the line. All right, like that. Moving on. We've done that one. Now we get to display the legend as follows. Place the legend above the chart, or sorry, above the, the plot area without overlapping the plot. Ensure that the legend displays the series correctly, the value, the network, the support, the billion, the average. All right, so let's see. Here is my data, oh sorry, here's my legend, and I want the legend to appear on top. Very simple, you just go to legend, and you select, go into the arrow, and you select top, the legend will then, then jump to the top, and value for money, network quality, support and billing, average, they are displayed correctly. Next, ensure the ledger. Okay, we've done that. Save the chart, print the chart. That is pretty simple. All that you do is then you just click on file, print. That's all you do. You click on file, print, and this is what your chart will look like. Remember, it must be on its own sheet with your header clearly displayed. And that's it for this. Thank you so much for watching, and good luck.